Okay, I'm in the backyard doing some experimenting and uh, I had this piece of metal out in my backyard and what I've done is I've cut two smaller pieces and just flattened the ends of them and I have some wire here and what I'm going to do is try to make some coils, some tattoo machine coils. Uh, these are electromagnets. This is a core with wire wrapped around it. And so what I'm going to do is turn these into electromagnets. But the first thing you got to do is make sure that a magnet's attracted to it, that it's magnetic. And you can see that these qualify. Alright. Okay, so I'm wrapping this core right here with the copper wire. And you want to make sure that you wrap your cores the same direction so both of them are wrapped the same direction because if you go the opposite direction you can actually reverse the polarity on them they'll be switched so instead of pulling one direction you'll actually get one pushing away from the other one kind of like when you try to put two magnets together and they kind of push apart from each other and uh, that's not what you want you want to make sure that both cores are pulling down on your armature bar. Now, another note here. When you wrap a core and you go all the way to one side, that's wrapped one time. So, when you get a 10 wrap, that means that it went down once and then down twice, three, four, until you reach 10. So that means it's been wrapped 10 times, not that it's gone up and down 10 times. That'd be 20 wrap. And the more wire you have, the longer it takes for electricity to go through it. So an eight wrap, the electricity will actually go through it faster because there's not as much wire there. 12 wraps actually take longer for electricity to go through and so you need more electricity. Okay, so here we have our finished coils all hooked up and then it is hooked up to an on-off switch. So let's give it some power and see what happens. There you go. You can see that they work. Let's try something with some more metal. Let's see. So let's pretend this is your armature bar right here. It's your two electromagnets, your coils. Now, all your machine is doing is pretty much turning on completing the electrical circuit every time the front spring touches a contact screw like this and then as soon as your armature bar gets pulled down you lose contact with that front spring and it turns off so then your armature bar goes back up so then once the spring touches your electricity goes back on and then it turns off and it goes back up. So pretty much your tattoo machine is just turning on and off over and over and over again, super fast. And that's how that works. That's how that works with your electromagnets. Okay, what I have here 
is the inside of some hair clippers that I took apart and you can see there's your on off switch and inside of this wire is your metal core now what's going to happen when I turn on the power you can see it's not magnetic right now not picking anything up watch what happens when I put the power on So this has 110 going through it right now. The purpose of your power source is only to use like 1 to 20 volts because that's all it needs. It doesn't need 110 volts going through it. And this, so the more volts you have, the stronger the magnet. So if you use 3 volts, it's not going to be pulling as much on your armature bar. And like a little bit of a pull. So you increase the voltage and that pulls your bar down. The more volts, the more electricity you got. The stronger the pull is to that armature bar. And your foot pedal is just an on off switch. It's just what's turning the electricity, completing that circuit to tell you to turn the electricity on and off. So if you want to do it by hand, you could just put this plug in its place.